Hello Internet, my name is Ren. This is Ren Rants, a channel where I rant about many things that I care about, from pop culture to politics. In this video, we are going to be talking about Star Trek Picard. I'll be doing just a spoiler-free first impression of the premiere, because I have thoughts and, and many feelings. I will be doing live streams as I go through the series, and I will be updating you all with dates and times for when I'll be doing them. I don't want to pin myself down to a consistent schedule because I can't guarantee that I won't get sick or have one of my hybrid classes or have other life things come up. So I'll just try to give you all like a day of notice at least for when I'm trying to do a live stream and then I will update if I change the time or anything and hopefully this will not be an exercise in frustration for all of us. I also hope you'll bear with me technology wise. But this is not what the video is about. No, we are just going to talk spoiler free about Picard because it's a lot. Uh, Okay. It's good. Many things about this series are good. I would say overall I do think it's better than Discovery, although I admittedly petered out and didn't finish season two of Discovery. I am paying for CBS All Access because I will not steal from Patrick Stewart, you can't make me. So I will probably get around to watching it. I don't think I'm going to do episode by episode reviews of it. I don't have the energy anymore. It's not that it's actually that bad. It's just that it doesn't feel like Star Trek. And I think that's also at this point my issue with Picard as well. So the good things, Patrick Stewart can act anything and make me want to watch it all day forever. He's amazing. Most of the supporting cast is pretty good as well. We see cameos of Brent Spiner as Data. Doesn't look great. I don't know what they could have done about this. I think maybe some CGI might have been in order. I don't know if they would have gone to Uncanny Valley, but I actually think Data is a character where Uncanny Valley is not too bad versus what we end up with, which just looks kind of wrong. And that's not to insult Brent Spiner. People are allowed to age. No reasonable person would still expect him to look the same, but it's a problem when you write an ageless character and then try to have an actor who is aged portray the ageless character without sufficiently augmenting the appearance to make that effective. So I would say it does not work for me super well, except that the chemistry between Brent Spiner and Patrick Stewart is still there. So I can kind of forgive every second that I'm looking at his face. Really, I think it's just the makeup just looks really bad with high definition and good lighting on an aging actor's face. I think that might be the problem. So again, no shade at all to Brent Spiner. You are allowed to age. You look fine. You just you just don't look like you did in like the 80s and 90s, which is fine. It's fine. It's just very unfortunate that they tried to do that, but they didn't really commit enough. And I, I don't know what solution would have worked or how they could have written around that. So I know they kind of put themselves into a pickle here, which is kind of why I sort of wish they would just stop clinging desperately to established characters and just write a new Star Trek series already for the love of God. But, but, but I got my post Voyager Star Trek series. Hell yeah. And it is so sad. Oh my God. Lord, again, without spoiling anything, it is so sad. Like, there are scenes in in this, this premiere that are not actually supposed to really be sad. Like, they're just kind of mundane scenes. And I'm just sitting there kind of ugly crying. Because I'm just like, this isn't what I signed up for. When I think Star Trek, I think hope. I think 
optimism. I think a cast of tightly knit characters that love each other and that I love and like want to go on adventures with. And and I I get a cast of characters that are very talented actors and who I enjoy watching. I get a well-written show. I again, the writing's pretty good. Although I did try to explain the plot of the premiere to one of my friends who's not going to watch it. And when you explain the plot out loud, it sounds pretty bad. I'm... It works when you're watching it, but when you explain it out loud, it just, it sounds ridiculous. And if I have time, at some point I will do a, a review with spoilers where I talk in detail about my... I just don't know what to do with this. Because on one hand, Picard. Picard! But on the other hand, God, why? 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 Okay. My main issue with Discovery is, aside from the anachronistic nonsense, which I can even suspend my disbelief on if everything else was amazing, is that it just kept getting so dark and gritty. And every time I thought we were done with that, they would go back there. And, oh my god. If I thought that was dark, holy fucking shit. Jesus Christ. I don't know what to do with this. It's just... I know what's happening with my hair here. I'm sorry. I took a shower before this video. Just gonna... Hey, buddy. There we go. All right cut off all my hair because I got really sick of waiting for my hair to dry and it's great short hair is wonderful I hate having long hair love how it looks hate having long hair but short hair has its own challenges which is just what do you do with this oh 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 this is gonna bug me so much but I am not redoing this take because I'm kind of determined to try and post this before I get the live stream out it's probably not gonna happen but if it does happen, please congratulate me in the comments. If it doesn't happen, you can make fun of me in the comments. Because this is embarrassing. I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. Okay. So, feelings. There are good things. There are bad things. Things that work. Actors are good. Beautifully shot. Uh, looks great. There are lots of callbacks. And he has a dog named Number One that doesn't count as a spoiler, and it's adorable. I appreciate that. And I will say it feels true to Picard's character, and that's probably the most important part for me. And I think it would be unforgivable if it didn't. So his reasons for doing the things he does so far make sense. Patrick Stewart's portrayal of him just, he's, it's the same character, but he's kind of softened with age. You can tell that losing data in Nemesis softened him, and he never really got over it. And there's just so many layers that are added into his character now that I do think that this is worth watching as just a beautiful character study of Captain Picard. It's just that it's so sad. And I don't know if I mean that as a good thing. Because I think you could still tell this story and have it be poignant and beautiful and haunting and, you know, sweet and sad in a lot of the same ways without going quite as grim, dark and gritty with it. And I feel like that's just a failing of, you know, 2019 and 2020 sci-fi storytelling. And I, I guess it might be a byproduct of the fact that everything around us feels very grim, dark, and hopeless right now. But I feel like that means we need the optimism more than ever. And I want it. I want it with my whole soul. And I really hope that the tone changes at some point. I hope that we get some moments where we, we feel some of that again. I do feel like there's going to be some, like, new life 
new civilizations moments that that might you know elevate this a little bit in terms of how i feel about it but just right out the gate very strong first episode in terms of a quality tv show i just didn't entirely enjoy watching it because it was almost a traumatizing experience i i felt really sad afterwards i i get a little sad every time i think about it and i don't know if that's the reaction that you want from your tv show so i really hope that we get more of a lighter tone a little later on when picard gets on a ship I hope that I manage to either just throw this up with nothing in it or slap some images in it before I put the live stream up. We'll see. Good luck. I'm sorry. But that's all I have for you for now. See you next time. Peter Zane.